All right, guys. Um, I need to uh, do a calibration on my 24XD heading sensor GPS puck and also uh, calibrate the alignment of it, uh, the heading. So thought I might just make a video since I got to do it. I have two of them on this boat. I've got uh, one on the bow and one on the stern. Um, I typically have all the units set to the stern heading sensor um, and then the as far as the heading goes they're all on I use one of the antennas for the heading and then the GPS part portion of it I use the bow on the bow one and the uh, console units at the stern so what we're gonna do is show you how to do this see if we can get it uh, calibrated but what we're gonna do is go to the home and we're gonna go to uh, settings now we're gonna go to preference I'm sorry communications and the NEMA 2000 setup then we're gonna go to device list all right here's all of our devices that are hooked up on NEMA we're gonna go down and we'll probably go ahead and just do the bow bow one first and that's that one right there so you're gonna select that and then we're gonna go to review okay so we've got to do two things here we need to uh, calibrate the compass and we also need to uh, do the uh, the heading alignment so we got to do two things so we're gonna do both of these we just had a boat go by I was kind of waiting for the weight to go so what we're gonna do we will go to calibrate compass all right it says turn the boat 1.5 times in either direction to calibrate the compass keep the boat level and steady so what we're going to do is we will hit begin we're going to get the boat turning see the percentage is clicking down as we get this boat turn All right, 83%, so not bad. We'll go with that, we'll hit okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the auto heading alignment. It says bring the boat to cruising speed at a constant heading with at least 45 seconds of hazard-free water ahead. So what we'll do is we'll get up here, uh, we'll get straight here where we can keep a straight heading. That ought to do it. We'll hit begin and we're going to go ahead and All right, 
says successful. We'll go up here and hit OK. And that should be all that we need to do, guys. Looks like we're going correct with our map. Everything looks good. So we'll see what it does. All right. Just wanted to show you we're setting steel. GPS speed zero. And our map is not spinning around. So when you calibrate, 24 and you get everything set I mean and you have it set to heading and I like mine on course up so this makes it easier for me and a lot of guys like north up but uh, it's a little confusing for me so I'm I'm course up guy and then you got to set have it set on heading so it's picking your heading sensor and if you'll see we're setting here that map is just not moving at all. You know, if you don't have a heading sensor, you know, you're gonna get the map spinning around, your boat icon either spinning around, and it kind of makes it a little harder to navigate to uh, waypoints that you have. So just wanted to show you, uh, once it's calibrated, this is kind of what, this is what it should look like. 